Hey, we're back. It's Art McDermott, Successful Aging Academy. Part four of your 2019 Life Changer Plan. If you remember, the reason we're doing this is because most people don't spend enough time on themselves thinking about the coming year, right? They'll do it for business, they'll do it for just about any other reason, or planning, household finances, not themselves. So we're changing that now. So we're going to talk, we're going to wrap up everything today, pull it all together. We're going to talk about SMART goals. Now a lot of you have heard this before, I understand, but we're going to use some real examples in this one. All right. In order for it to be a real goal, right? you're going to set yourself a goal, what is it? In order for it to be real, it has to be specific. All right. Let's stick with a very simple weight loss example. Your goal could be, I need to lose 30 pounds. Very specific. Okay, that's good, but we're not done yet. So it has to be measurable. <clears throat> Obviously, 30 pounds is pretty easy measurable. It's called a scale. Um, everyone has access to one. What you can't say is saying, I just I want to tone up. That's not a goal, right? I want to lift weights three days a week so my legs look like X. That's that's a little more measurable, right? I want to have my biceps to be a certain diameter. That's measurable. 30 pounds is measurable in, in one pound increments on a scale. All right, so we got that one. Next, it has to be achievable, right? Obviously. So if I say I want to lose 100 pounds, all right, in this case was 30, but let's pick a, a massive goal, so to speak. So 100 pounds is a, is a lot of weight to lose, clearly. But it's achievable. If you say I want to lose 100 pounds in two months without surgery, not achievable. Okay, so it has to be realistic in that sense that you should be able to get it done. Um, the average rate, by the way, is a nice safe rate. They say it's about a pound a week. All right. So as you can see, losing 30 pounds in six six months or so, not that hard. Okay, you can do this. So it has to be achievable. Right, so let's say in this 30 pounds, we say I want to lose 30 pounds um, by June. Okay, that's gonna we're gonna get to that in a second. All right, and the next one it has to be relevant. What does that mean? By relevant means like I'm not personally gonna set a goal. I want to learn how to play guitar this winter. Well, it's it's I mean it's specific. It's, it's got all these other things, but it's not relevant to me. I really don't have a burning desire. To learn how to play the guitar. Some people do. I, I do not. So it's not really, it's not important and it's not relevant to me. So it's probably setting myself up for failure, right? So it has to be relevant, it has to mean something to you, right? And this lot, losing 30 pounds could mean you're no longer pre diabetic, could mean your blood pressure drops by 15 points, right? 20 points. Well, that's, that's relevant. <laughs> that's important. That stuff's going to keep you alive. So that's. That's a check. All right, the last one has to be time bound. Okay, so if I say I want to lose 30 pounds by June, right? Very doable, all right? And because, you know, your, reason, your reasoning is you want to be ready for summer, you get a reunion, you've got a vacation, it's your anniversary, and you're traveling to Aruba, and you are going to wear that bathing suit, and that's in June, okay? So that's time bound. If you don't put a time on on your goal, that's not a goal, right? That's not even a plan. That's hardly a plan. If you say, I want to lose 30 pounds, that's pretty vague, right? We just said it's specific, but without a timetable, it's vague, right? So those, those are our examples of this old kind of cliche, I guess, if you will, of how these goals should look. So let's look at something else. Um, we're going to sum, as I said, this is a summary lesson because having smart goals is not everything. That's not the whole equation. The rest of the things we've talked about are knowing your patterns and triggers. When I started my beta program for the Successful Aging Academy, I gave one a journal. All right. I hope you're using that journal to write this stuff down. Get a get a buy yourself a journal at Staples and start writing what are my patterns, what are my worst, most dangerous patterns, what usually sets them off. What is the trigger? All right. And next, I'm going to have my new, let's call them your plug-in behaviors. 
All right, what are they? Write them down. All right, know what you're going to do. Instead of grabbing dessert, I am going to do X. I go for a walk after dinner, whatever that may be. All right, rewards. Being the nice, simple humans we are, we like to be rewarded. We like to be recognized and appreciated for what we do. So when we do something nice, something right, something we hit a benchmark, we change a behavior, any of those things, you need to celebrate. You need to reward that behavior, and that's going to help ingrain that going forward. All right? Support. Last time we talked about having a support system. Um, in cigarette smoking, the combination of nicotine replacement plus a support system doubles your chance of success. It applies to everything, right? Who is your support system? Rely on them. Let them know. Like, make it public, right? Make, it's got to be out there, by the way. Like, you say, I am going to do this. Because once you verbalize it, you can't take that back, right? As we know. So it's out there. You can do it. And don't be afraid to make your goal a big, audacious goal, all right? As they say. Um, Next one, I, we talked about one of the most powerful tools available to you, visualization. Picture your life, right, 30 pounds lighter. What can you do then that you can't do now? What activities can you do with your family, right? Uh, how much longer will you live? A uh, pretty relevant one, right? Visualize that life, you know, whether it's running or playing soccer or, or sports you used to do. And now you don't. Hiking. Getting out in nature and hiking. Okay? All those things maybe you can't do now. That's okay. You will get there. You will get there following all of these. And But you have to see it. You have to mean something to you. And you have to see it in order for it to happen. All right? And if you, what I want to do as well here is to sum up <clears throat> and go back to the first session. And we talked about some questions all right, that we needed answers to. Those questions are... Um, if we were having this conversation one year from now, what would have to have happened in order for you to consider your goals to be met? Say, yep, I did it. That was what? It was X. What was that? Okay. You've got to have the answer to that question. The other one, which I like, I, I think this is a very powerful question. It's a kind of a fill in the blank, if you will. Complete this sentence. Um, and the, it, it's, it goes like this. If my life would be, and my health and my wellness would be dramatically improved if only I could what? Finish the sentence. Finish that sentence, all right? And you'll know where you need to start, all right? Absolutely. So um, <clears throat> I like to tell this, this is, so we're wrapping this up right now, the summary, all right? I want you to walk away with a couple of thoughts here, all right? I want you, I want you to be your own highlight reel. Right? Whether we want to or not, we are all examples to somebody else. Right? Are we good examples? Let's be good examples. Let's be our own highlight reel. You know, we want that slow motion walking away from the camera while there's an explosion behind us kind of stuff. Really. All right? You want to be your own highlight reel. And you want people to say, do you remember what he or she used to be like? They are a different person. They're just, it's just amazing to see. All right? And you will be that example to somebody else, and you can do that by using all the tools that we've talked about. All right? Be your own highlight reel. You are an example to one or many, many people. If any way I can help you do this, all right, please give me a call. There's a, just go to the website there, SuccessfulAging.Academy, and there's a link right there to set up a phone call with me. There's no obligation. It doesn't cost anything. It's a coaching call. I'm happy to do it. All right, but please go up there. If you want some help filling in all the stuff that we've talked about, all right, I have the sheets, I have all the stuff, and we'll do the interview. We'll go through everything, all right? Get the book, get the scorecard. All these tools are available to you if you only take advantage of them, all right? I want to see you become your own highlight reel, all right? So that's it. That's our 2019 Life Changer Plan summed up four sessions. I hope it was helpful for you. It's only going to be helpful if you act on it. So, good luck. Let's get started.